All week, 7 Eyewitness News is investigating the rising costs and how they're impacting so many families. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya takes us to the source of the water we use every day, showing us how it gets to your home and the role that plays in your water bill. It starts here in the Niagara River. Then water is pumped to one of the Erie County Water Authority's water treatment plants. Water comes into the building right here. This is where the water's coming in. And the very first part of the process, we had a chemical called a coagulant. The coagulant causes particles in the water to bind together, making them easier to remove. And then it goes down to the next room here where we'll go okay. into. The next step is called flocculation. The water flowing is right below us in a trough and then the water's flowing that way. Large paddles underneath each of these blue mixers slowly stir the water to get unwanted particles like dirt to bind together. So right now we're, this is just part of the process to remove like dirt and sediment in the water? We call, you know, when we say dirt, dirt is a very broad word. I mean, yes, you got your clays, your silt, but you also have the pathogens that are in there, the Gargidia, the support, and the stuff that we have to remove in order to make the water safe. Once those particles bind together and become larger, the water moves to the sedimentation stage. It's just right outside this door here. The water travels underneath this grass, and gravity takes its course. The water's flowing through here so slow that those dirt particles are just falling and out. At the very end, it's all collected. It moves across the parking lot into that building over there, and that's where the filters are. The water travels here, where the final filtration process takes place. The water comes in through here, and then it splits up in between these two sides. Okay. Water comes in and is filtering down. Right now, the plant is treating up to 20 million gallons a day, but that could double depending on the season. After 90 hours of use, each filter is cleaned through the backwashing process. Water turns brown, you can see all the dirt the filter collected being washed away. In the meantime, the Erie County Water Authority adds fluoride to the treated water, adjusts the pH, and then the water heads out of the building. These pumps are pumping it out of the building and out into the distribution okay. system. The water then heads out from this treatment plant to 3,600 miles of pipe that'll bring the water directly to your home. A lot of people don't realize just what goes into treating the water that comes into their home. They think that they just open up their tap and it, it's coming out of the lake. And in order to keep that process flowing, this system needs to be constantly updated. Some of our infrastructure, our piping and other systems are as much as 100 years old. And that useful life is pretty much used up. So these are very important to keep service coming. You're looking at a $3.2 million project where the Erie County Water Authority is swapping out nearly 8,000 feet of an 8-inch cast iron line installed in 1926. We've had a number of leaks on that and over the years, and so it's time to upgrade that, and so we're replacing it with a ductile iron 12-inch water main. At nearly every point in this process, the Erie County Water Authority is monitoring water quality. We test the water um, in accordance with the uh, EPA and state health department mandates. We test, we have daily testing for bacteriology. We test quarterly for chemicals like disinfection byproducts. Like say 200, 230 people all working together to make sure everything comes out all right. Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.